Hello YouTube, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I want to show you how to upgrade the firmware of the ICT Protege GX Denrel controller. Um, there was a, a newer firmware released uh, maybe a week or two ago. Um, and with the firmware file, when you go to the ICT.co website under My ICT for the firmware downloads, um, there's an app note, um, or sorry, a, a release note attached to the firmware file so you know what was added or fixed in, in a new version of firmware. Okay, it also includes the fixes from past versions. So in one file, you can really go from the version you're using to the latest and see what's the difference. And if, it, if there's anything in there that uh, will uh, you know, solve some problems or will add some features for your clients. Um, updating the firmware is very easy. Uh, the reason why I'm, make, I'm making this video is to just to make sure that you understand after upgrading the firmware, you understand what to look and what to um, I guess put in its original state, like you know, rearming partitions, if you know, or starting services and things like that. Okay, so sometimes upgrading the firmware will not change the internal database of the controller, but sometimes it will change the database. So there's a possibility that you may have to do some module updates after the firmware, for instance. So that's the reason why I want to make this video. I want to show you, you know, not to leave a site before you know, making sure everything is working as normal and everything, every partition, everything is uh, secured, okay? So let's have a look how, how to update the firmware. Um, it takes about maybe five minutes to push the firmware to the controller and update it. Um, so let's, let's have a look and see how it's done. So I previously downloaded the file from the ICT.co website. You need to go under Site and Controllers here right and you right click on the controller select update firmware okay if you have multiple controllers in the list you can select all of them right or you can decide to do one by one you know so that you're not um, basically after the update you're uh, able to do and to go in and just check out the health status make sure everything is working perfectly and then you can do the next one I, I personally I prefer to do one at a time unless it's a huge site um, you know that would tons of controllers to update, okay? So I want to browse, get the from the firmware files, you will see the the, the build, which is the, the, the version, sorry, says 208, and the build is 1411, so that's what's important. Like it's basically the latest version available today, right? So I click open and update. It's gonna take about five minutes. <laughs> All right, so the update is now completed. You see the status of the uh, update here. All right, so we can close this. Um, and you see now there's four health issues uh, that we need to look for. So right click on the controller, get health status. So again, I, I must have said this 50 times in, in my, my YouTube videos, but you, you always need to look at this page when you're about to leave a site, okay? So I see this event saying that the controller has been restarted, so I can clear this event. So this is one of the events that you can, or maybe the only one actually that you can clear. Uh, it just basically means that after the update, the controller did a restart, which is normal, okay? So for a, a second, it's uh, that the keypad was offline, but it's now online, I can see it. It says system ready, okay? So this is gonna clear itself. And now my two areas are completely disarmed, okay? So I can close this. You see now the, the health issues are back to two, so I cleared the restart and the, the keypad is back online. And now I can go to areas and arm the 24 hour on the areas so that the health issue disappears. Um, if you had some you know, reporting services, for instance, you, you know, it, it, the system would have shown an event in the, in the health status page uh, saying that you need to start the service, but in this case, it's 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 okay. It's already running, all right? And um, look, maybe in the events for anything abnormal, I, you know, I always suggest to take a master card with access to all doors and run around the place and make sure the readers are working, make sure your door schedules are there for the automatic unlock schedules, all right? So now if I go back to my controllers page, my health is now okay. So there's nothing abnormal with the controller. Okay, so again, this was how to upgrade the uh, GX Denrel controller from ICT uh, firmware. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, send them down below. Um, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button for uh, following our channel. All right, I hope you liked the video. My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Remember, we are the Canadian distributor of ICT products. If you need help or sell support, you can uh, find us on inaxis.com. All right, thank you.